Hello good people, my name is Santa Woolley and I'm back here with the last and third video on Black Ops 3 Shadow of Evil. Uh, I'm doing this on English uh, for the community for Activision, GameStop and Game Reactor because they are hosting a Nordic Zombie Tournament. Uh, link is in the description for more information how to sign up and stuff. But we are on uh, round 10 right now guys, but I'm actually gonna cut to a part when I'm doing the sword easter egg just to show you guys. So run to the nearest train station, uh, you see a map here where uh, the symbols in the houses are located, where the question mark is so remember that and jump into the train and look for the question marks in the windows in the houses uh, here is the first uh, uh, symbols where the question mark was located the second question mark shows the second symbols and the third question mark so shows the uh, third symbol uh, run into uh, run back to the rift get into beast mode and charge the three symbols you saw it doesn't matter w w which one you charge first and stuff just charge the three symbol and the door uh, or wall here will disappear and you can grab an uh, Basically an Easter egg. <laughs> you can grab an egg uh, to get to the sword. Place the egg in this statue. Uh, there's four statue located on this map. Uh, place the uh, place the egg on the statue and kill zombies near nearby the statue. And this uh, egg, egg will power up. And uh, then it will light with blue light. And uh, you, you take it and go to the next statue. Here on Canal District, for example, uh, kill the zombie, uh, sh uh, shard chop the egg, take the egg, and place the egg in the next uh, or third statue here on a uh, Footlight District. Uh, charge the egg, uh, take the egg, and place the egg in the in the fourth and last uh, district, which is uh, Waterfront District, I think. Yep, uh, Waterfront District is the last uh, pl uh, place you shall. Uh, Place the egg on the statue. After you have uh, charged up this egg, take it back to the rift, place it in the wall again, and you will actually get the sword uh, from it. You can actually upgrade the sword later on, but that's nothing I will show you in this video. So guys, we're back on the regular rounds here. I recently got the Lil Arnie from the mystery box, which is like monkeys in the past Black Ops. You threw it and the zombie get distracted by it and don't attack you. Here I got a teddy bear in the mystery box. Uh, unfortunately, that means that the mystery box is changing location, but just look up in the sky and you'll see the blue light and that's where the new mystery box is located. Here's the RCR1, which is a really good assault rifle when you pack and punch it. I threw the Lil Arnie there and a plant with the uh, arms uh, 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 just show up and uh, yeah, all the zombies get uh, distracted by it. Here I killed the fat yellow flying shit and I got uh, a part to the wonder weapon in it. Uh, now I'm running over here on the wall in the pack and punch area to pack and punch my ICR1. I think you say it on English. In Sweden you say it ICR1. Which is like, yeah, it sounds really funny. <laughs> so my RCR1 is now pack and punched. Uh, it cost 5,000 uh, uh, points uh, for the first time and then it cost uh, 2,500 points. And for the first time you get uh, pack and punch and the, the weapon get 50% uh, better almost. And uh, then you're just changing your uh, uh, bonus perks in the weapon. Because every time you pack and punch you get these uh, bonus perks uh, with uh, like uh, the, your, bull uh, your bullets is like thunder or your bullets is like uh, on fire and your bullets you can actually shoot on a zombie who turn uh, and work for you and turn against uh, uh, his own uh, the zombie i mean so that's pretty pretty awesome actually i had the thunder wall uh, on the icr1 and the dead wire on this weapon uh, this bonus perks i was talking about it's cost 2500 points to pack and punch the second time now just looking around and uh, uh, searching for the last part to wonder weapon and it's actually located in these plants when you open the plants for the first time in right around uh, one or something you get uh, bad things you get grenades uh, against you, you get zombies against you but after a while in round 20 you actually get good Good things here I got the last part to the wonder weapon I actually get ray gun in this plant which is uh, really awesome and I also got max ammo and uh, yeah you good you get uh, good things uh, to help you in the plants after a while here I building the wonder weapon on the wa waterfront district table uh, waterfront district uh, yeah crafting table and the wonder weapon is really awesome you only have 10 bullets but if you have max ammo it's okay uh, just get it and you will yeah, have all the bullets again. You will have max ammo. Uh, the wonder weapon is really, really good. I do the tactic uh, when I uh, when I'm training here down in the rift. I uh, go for the tactic. Uh, always run with the wonder weapon in case you get stuck. You can always shoot uh, uh, in the ground in front of you, and all the zombie will 
disappear in the blue hole, <laughs> as you saw there. Uh, yeah, it's a really, really good one weapon, and uh, I'm actually having mule kick on right now, but uh, that's nothing I recommend. I have a ray gun, I have a pack and punched uh, light machine gun, or maybe the bootlegger, I think I will change the uh, light machine gun later. And then I have this uh, wonder weapon, and the, uh, I'm always, always running with a wonder weapon, always run with a wonder weapon. Here I'm running up and getting the shield again, because the shield on round like uh, 39, like I'm in now, uh, the shield is actually, you need to change the shield every round basically. Just uh, run up and change the shield when you only have a few zombie left. There you saw I uh, shoot uh, on the zombie and it uh, turned and uh, work uh, with me now. I call him Zombie Hitman 47 or something. Uh, and I also have the Thunderwall on my uh, Blight of Living here. Uh, which is, uh, yeah, it's a really, really good uh, thing. Here I got stuck and I'm using the wonder weapon that I was talking about later. It's really, really good. Always run with a wonder weapon like I don't do here. And that's uh, because I, uh, yeah, I die because I didn't run with a wonder weapon. So I couldn't shoot in the ground and get saved. So unfortunately I died here on the round 42, guys. But now you guys now uh, know how to do it. And uh, yeah, it was interesting to do this on English, these three videos. I want to thank you all for watching these three videos and uh, of course I got people hating a little bit against me because I have bad English and and stuffs and uh, also because all these uh, things I've uh, giving tips about it's uh, it's already on YouTube for like two months ago when the when the when the game was released but I do it anyways because I doing this for the community and for this Nordic championship it's very very yeah I think it's very funny that Activision uh, will cooperate cooperate with uh, uh, GameStop and Game Reactor, and together they can uh, figure this out. So, guys, uh, I want to really thank you for watching these three videos I made uh, on English here on Black Ops 3 Tips and Tricks. And to my own, to my own subscriber, I uh, hope you didn't unsub because I was talking uh, English uh, in a few videos. Uh, I love you all, guys, and thank you so much for watching. And I hope you learned, uh, yeah, a bit and uh, get some, uh, yeah, go and get some zombie kills now, guys. Have an awesome day, and I will see you on Swedish if you subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.